Christine O'Donnell just gave her concession speech about 15 minutes ago, and she has uh, decided to give WHYY her first interview since conceding. Christine, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Bill. Uh, what would you like to tell the, the folks in Delaware uh, first thing tonight? Well, that first of all, they should be proud. You know, we, we took on the establishment and we had a very good showing. We returned the political process back to the people, and that's what this is all about. Leaders are going to have to be held accountable to the people that they represent, and that's a wonderful thing. And, and a lot of people had their voice heard, and we're not going to be quiet now. We're going to continue to make sure that our interests are represented in both Washington and in Dover. In your concession speech, you said this is not over. Be specific. What, why is this not over? What can you do now? Well, because we brought a lot of issues to the forefront. And our Congress, as I mentioned in my phone call with, uh, with my opponent, I told him that he is now the deciding vote on the largest tax increase in U.S. history on cap and trade. And I said, please consider listening to the stories of the families that I've met who will be profoundly impacted by your vote. And I think that we can continue to speak up and raise awareness about what's happening in Delaware and that raising taxes on anyone right now is not the right thing to do. And, and we can continue to have our voice heard and, and hope that they'll listen. A lot of people said voter turnout would be the key. Did you get enough of your people out today? Well, I don't know what the total turnout is, but I, I can only hope. Do you know what the... I think about 50% overall. Well, 50% is down. great. You know, 50% is great. We'll see what the Republican-Democrat break, breakdown was. But, uh, you know, I'm so proud of the people who are part of my team, of everybody who got involved and worked incredibly hard. Again, remember, we did this without the support of our state party. And had we been able to truly unify, you know, I believe that we could have had much stronger results. But, but we chose not to. And, and again, it's going to be different from now on. And, and finally, great. there's a lot of people here that want to get at you here. But uh, finally, <laughs> what, what your is your priority? We appreciate that. What is your legacy? Well, I hope it's to give the voice of the people of Delaware, or give a voice to the people of Delaware, and I hope that they will continue to be involved. Many people said that they've never really articulated these issues. They've never really talked about things like the death tax impacting their family to politicians because they didn't think it would be heard. And I hope that by listening to them, they'll see that, you know, don't settle for less. Don't settle for not being listened to. Don't settle for being silenced. And, and I hope that is my legacy, that regardless of your background, regardless of, of your past, you can step up and get involved and, and really make a difference. Because I do believe that we made a huge difference in Delaware. All Things right. will never be the same. There's a lot of sad people here, but you did promise a party. Are we going to see a little party tonight? Absolutely. We've got a DJ, we've got food, and we've got the room all night. All right, <laughs> and I'm happy. I'm happy. Apparently the party is just beginning.